Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you the very basics of Lightroom. So hopefully you got some photos that you want to edit and uh, you have Lightroom downloaded. So let's go ahead and just jump right into Lightroom. All right, now that we've got Lightroom downloaded, if you see up here, we'll go through the top here. You have library, develop, map, book, slideshow, print, and web. For the very basics, I'm going to teach you library and develop. Libraries where you're going to import your photos. All right. So you can either drag and drop right in here. Okay. Cancel that. Or you can go into import down at the bottom left. And you can actually see all the options of where photos are saved. So you have the actual laptop, Macintosh HD, or I have my external hard drive that's currently plugged in. So I have all those files that I can source through. I already have my photo figured out, so let's just go ahead and drag and drop. All right, once you have it, make sure it's check marked. As you can see, I have other projects that I'm working on, but those aren't checked. So we're going to go ahead and import that one photo. All right, now that it's within our library, we're going to go over to develop at the top right here. All right, go ahead and select your photo in the bottom left. All right, so here in Lightroom, there's a lot of advanced settings, but again, today I'm only gonna teach you the basics. So it's what you're seeing right here, this top bar up to the right. And then I'm gonna teach you white balance, the tone and the presence. Those are the only things. Those are how to just create very basic edits to your videos. And honestly, 80% of your photos are just gonna be using these. So, so let's go ahead and start with at the top bar here. You have your crop option, okay? If you click this, you can crop your photo to your liking, okay? Enter. All right, you can also rotate by going into a corner and rotating here. So you can either create these canted angles or if your photo isn't straight as it is, you can straighten it, but this one's already pretty straight. Once you have your image cropped to your liking, I like how it already is. Um, next, you want to focus on white balance. Here you have the option of you can do auto white balance or you can do a custom white balance where you can adjust temperature where sliding to the right is going to create these warmer colors, such as yellow. And sliding to the left is going to give you the colder, which is blue. Okay, also with tint to the right is purple. And again, remember that these kind of coincide. So when you slide it to the right for purple, you're gonna wanna bump up the warmth as well, or vice versa with the green, you're gonna wanna go to the blue a little bit, just so you're not kind of creating these weird things. As you can see, if I slide to the right for the green and return up yellow, this is weird. So make sure the sliders are going to the same direction. All right, so I'm gonna do auto white balance. And as you can already see, that's a pretty big difference. All right. Now here's tone. Exposure, that's how bright your photo is. So sliding to the right is going to increase it, making it very bright. Sliding to the left is going to darken it. Okay. Contrast is the amount of color, the uh, density of the color. So sliding to the right is going to make those colors pop a little bit more. Sliding to the left is going to take away. They're going to desaturate the photo. Highlights, those are your brighter colors, such as whites, grays. That's going to really bump up and the brightness. As you can see, I can bump up those whites or I can decrease those whites. Shadows is the opposite. It's the darker tones. Okay, So if I slide shadows to the right, it's going to bring out the shadows. All right? If you slide to the left, it's going to darken the shadows. So you can see that. Whites, same thing as highlights. Brighter colors, it's going to bring them out. Blacks, same exact thing as shadows. It's going to bring out or you're just going to darken out. All right. So you have this fun auto tool, um, which usually does a good job, but I like to use my own twist. So let's just, let's edit to my little liking. I like to go for a little bit higher exposure, bring out that elegance. I'm going to bump up the contrast just a little bit to get that pop of color. Highlights, I want to bring down just a little bit so you can actually see her jersey. So right now it's a little overexposed. Okay. 
shadows. Bring it down a little bit to get that depth and detail. Whites, I'll pop it just a little bit as the highlights brought out, brought the color down a little bit. Blacks, um, I'll probably, probably leave the blacks how it is. So if I move it too dark, it's just gonna be weird. Down here in the presence texture, that's the amount of detail. Um, so bringing up texture is going to make it really great. Not so much grainy, but it's just going to it's going to give a little more definition to your photos. All right. So I think to the left is going to take away the definition, blur it a little bit. I like to bring up the texture just a little bit to create to to show those details in the photo. Clarity. That's kind of the same thing where it's going to bring out the detail, but more so I kind of fill in those colors. So sliding to the left is going to fill them with white, sliding to the right is going to fill them with black, make it a little more intense. All right. Um, I usually kind of leave clarity alone as it, it alters the photo a little bit too much where it's just not realistic. Dehaze, well, that's going to be kind of the same with um, saturation where it's uh, popping the colors a little bit. I don't touch that at all. Vibrance. Here's the cool thing. Vibrance and saturation are almost the same thing, except there's one tiny deal. So saturation, again, as we discussed, it's bringing out those colors, making them pop. Vibrance does the exact same thing, except it leaves out orange, which is typically skin tones. So I can bring out um, vibrance where her skin, the orange, isn't going to pop too much until I raise it too high. That's when you see her skin being affected. So I can, I can really bring out those greens and blues um, from the grass and the, the jersey, and she's not affected at all. See, I'm at 40 vibrance. If I was to put this at 40 saturation, look how orange she got. It's just, it's not a good tone. So really focus on vibrance more than anything. Okay, so you can actually type it. So let's take a look at before and after. Before, after. See, so again, not a huge difference. It just makes the photo pop just a little bit. All right, future videos, we're gonna go through all the other settings down here that Lightroom has to offer. As you can see, there's a lot to go through. Um, that's how you're really gonna get those, you know, those your own styles and characteristics in your photos. But for now, that's the basics on how to just edit the photo. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you learned something. Let me know what you wanna see in the comments or something that you still have questions about and I'll be sure to answer them. So see you guys next time.